Aerial coverage provided by Goodyear. Everything Goodyear has learned making tires that go the distance inspires what they roll into yours. Goodyear, more driven. So when the wind's blowing like this, Ronnie, does that affect the carrying of the ball? I think sometimes it does, when, especially when it, 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 it is, is gusting like it is here in Flushing tonight. Get a little backspin on that ball from Castro, and it just kept carrying over Ligaris' head. Well, Michael Kadire leads it off for the Mets in what is now a tie game, one apiece. Lester to the plate. And the count, even a ball and a strike. The old ballpark here, Shea Stadium, the swirling winds was always an issue. This one more closed. Not as bad as the old Shea. Well, with the big stadiums, uh, there are some areas that come in that it swirls around and actually then makes it carry to left. Mm -hmm. And you look at the flag and it says, well, it's blowing in from left. But the wind will swirl and actually have the opposite effect. I would imagine it doesn't carry real good to center right now. The high fly ball. And Kadire takes a called third strike from Lester, one down here in the fifth. Our producer Scott Cockrell just always in a great mood every October because it's Chevy Truck Month. Time to make a strong decision like choosing a Chevy Silverado. Chevrolet proud to be the official vehicle of Major League Baseball. So I'm giving our director Matt Lip a ride in Silverado the other day. <laughs> the camaraderie on our crew. Well hit to left, base hit by Wilmer Flores. This looks like a get me over curveball just for a strike. Flores sees it pretty well, stays back on it enough. It's a little lazy line drive. You know what's interesting, interesting is that Bryant was playing even with the bag, almost in, no need to with Flores who never bunts. There's Ligaris. He tapped back to Lester his first time. And the breaking pitch not quite in the back door. One and oh. Lester threw that pitch. He stopped. Couldn't understand why Rob Drake did not call it a strike. Ross turned around and addressed Drake. On the ground, into left field, base hit. Just out of the reach of Chris Bryant. Like a cutter intended to be the outside, catches a little too much of the plate. Tops it in the hole. Just out of the reach of a diving drive. Well, this has been an issue for Matt Harvey all year. Only one sacrifice bunt. He's had trouble bunting all year. And Rizzo, the first baseman, that's about as aggressive as you can play. He's about to shake hands with him. <laughs> Clearly, you need to bunt this from the third. Make the third baseman come in and field it. Bumps it foul at the plate 0 and 1. Sometimes it's hard to correct but when you watch Matt bunt, he stabs at the baseball if you stab at it. That's why he's having a tough year bunting. Got to really catch the ball with the bat. That's what it should feel like. I always describe it when I'm teaching it to young yeah. kids. Let it hit the bat. Just let it hit the bat. Now when you get really good at it you can start to give with it which deadens it a little yeah. bit. Just put it out there and let the ball hit the bat and just angle the bat where you can guide it where you want it to go. Well, he pulled the bat back. Tried the old butcher boy. 0 oh 2. Well, really, what you want to do if you're Harvey is you just want to bunt this ball to the right of Lester. Make him make the play. Let him think about throwing the ball.
He gets that one down. The throw to third. They're going to rule him out. They're going to say that in the transition from getting the ball out of the glove, Bryant dropped it after the force. I, that's how I saw it as well. Looked like on the transfer. Caught it, and then on the transfer, he loses it and drops the ball. So he closes his glove all the way around the ball and then reaches back in. Well, they were trying for a double play at first base, and they would have had it if he didn't lose the exchange. Well, now we know why Rizzo plays so far in. He takes that ball that goes back to the pitcher. He takes it himself. Takes Lester out of the play. Same situation now. Runners at first and second. But with two down for Curtis Granderson. Top of the Mets order. Breaking pitch over 0 and 1. Comes over in plenty of time. Starts really shy. That's why you have to be able to direct the bunt towards the third third base side. Take the first base. We take Rizzo totally out of that play. Lagaris the runner at second. Followed straight back by Granderson. All five of his runs batted in in this postseason coming against left handed pitching. He's 0 for 2 against Lester tonight. Ground out to second. And a soft liner to short. Lester with the 0-2. Into center field. That ball is going to drop. And it's going to break the tie. Curtis Granderson. A two-out RBI single to center. And the Mets lead it 2-1. with a good jump no play at home Curtis caught that off the end of the bat so just really dunked it in front of Dexter Fowler the inability of the Cubs to turn that double play on the bunt cost them with two, two outs not only was that his sixth RBI against left handed pitcher his seventh two strike hit in this postseason yeah, big play. Bryant not being able to complete that double play. When you do grab it with one hand and try to put the, the hand in the glove, it's much easier to use two hands on the transfer. That's where the shortstop or the second baseman has the hand right next to it. As a third baseman, you got a bigger glove. You might take the uh, sure out catching the glove, and then it's hard to find the ball sometimes on a double play. Here's David Wright. He hasn't hit, but he's uh, he's contributed with some key walks. He looks uh, a little bit more hitterish tonight. Looks like he's uh, starting to find his swing a little bit. Two and zero. Oh. Harvey is the runner at second. Granderson at first. Usually you don't say this, but you'd have to say you got to give right a pitch to hit. You got to go be aggressive with Murphy on deck. Got one he liked and fouled it right over there at the Cubs dugout. It almost seems like the best pitchers in the league, they never give in. Yeah, that's right. You look at Kershaw, you look at Greinke. Greinke especially lives on the outer edge. Lester does not want to give in, even though you have a hot hitter at the plate. It almost seems like he'll take his chances to make a good pitch then. Yeah. 
nibbled and missed. Three and one. Another bad one brings Daniel Murphy to the plate. He homered his first time. 2-0, oh, he came with a little cutter in. Will he do it again? Yes. I mean, throw I mean, back. no. I mean, no. <laughs> How about that pitch for a pitch, pitch call right there? A Three. slower curveball. To get over on a 3 1 count. Ross is peeved though that Castro never came in to cover second base on that throw. Thought they had right. Wandering off the bag of Harvey at second. Right at the plate, waiting on a 3 2. Straight three called. And John Lester pumped up as he walks off the mound here at City Field. But he gave up this to Curtis Granderson and gave up the lead. It's 2-1 New York Mets. stood for a ruin we can't just desert Bobby we have to he's on his own why did you come I came here to kill you and I thought you came here to die Spectre rated PG-13 in IMAX November 6th Still haven't tried FanDuel's one-week fantasy football leagues? Over one million fans have already won money. Choose a league. They start at a dollar. Pick your team. Done. Winners get paid the next day and there's no season-long commitment. FanDuel pays out $75 million a week. Get off the sidelines and get some. Try FanDuel today. We'll match your first deposit up to 200 bucks. Love it or your money back, guaranteed. Go to FanDuel.com and her promo code PUNTER. That's PUNTER. Sure. Ah! What time's a pirate store closed? Pirate Supply Store is open until 6 p.m. How do I make fake blood? What are the top scariest movies of all time? Turn on the flashlight. What's a good thing? Ah! How old is too old to trick or treat? You're never too old to trick or treat. Every fight needs a hero. But we've got these guys. Jeez, mate. Thanks for the confidence. The librarians are back. Let's go save the day. Ah! Magic is real. Ah! Nobody panic! Ah! The Librarians, season premiere, November 1st at 8. <laughs> you okay? No. It's the Art of Performance presented by Jaguar. In the American League Championship Series, the Royals shut out Toronto in the opener and then used a big comeback in game two to take a 2 nothing lead in that series. Five runs in the seventh. Dexter Fowler leading it off for the Cubs here in the sixth. And he's ahead in the count 2 and 0 against Matt Harvey. That Kansas City team is amazing, isn't it? They just never feel like they're out of it. They play with a confidence in the playoffs that all of them earned last year. Interesting, too, Cal. I'm sorry. But when John Lester, when the Cubs were trying to sell John Lester on becoming a member of their team, a line drive off of Harvey. Who gathers and throws him out? 
Harvey's saying, I don't need anything. Go back in the dugout, but they're going to come and check. I love that. He gets hit hard, solidly, stays, stays in front of him, makes the play. I thought it caught him right in the back of the right shoulder. Let's see. Yeah, right on the right shoulder. And then right off his back on the camera. Shoulder or lat, either one. That might swell and become a problem throwing. Look at the action this ball had on it, too, when it hit the ground and gave you a little backspin. And he's able to make the play. That's two balls now that have been hit right back through the box. Schwarber, that was right to Flores, went right over the head of Harvey, and this one caught him, and he gets another out on him. Harvey getting some beagle love out of the <laughs> City Field sellout crowd here. I was talking about John Lester and the sales pitch the Cubs were making, and one of the things that Theo Epstein told him, he said, look, we're going to be a very young team in 2015. He said, but if, if things break our way, we have a chance to be the Royals. It's a good sell. And John Lester liked the sound of that. Because of their past history and knowing each other from Boston, of course, you know, you, you as Lester are going to believe that coming out of Theo Epstein's mouth. A little number off the end of the bat. Harvey makes another play. He threw out Schwarber. Missed the ball, hit right off the end of the bat, cued in the perfect bunt situation. But Harvey jumps off and makes a nice play. Bare hands it, makes an accurate throw to first. He got off the mound pretty good. Yes, he did. It's Mets young pitching staff, good athletes also. Now oh, here's Chris Bryant. Ground out and a strikeout. Watch the first pitch. He takes it this time, 0 1. Harvey was perfect through four in this game. Cubs got to him in the fifth. He hit Rizzo, who eventually came around to score. Brian hit his first Wrigley Field home run against the Mets early in the season. Stopping the action as we see the Ball boy running down the first base line. Addison Reed up in the bullpen just in case there's some repercussions from Harvey getting hit with that comeback. The 2 1 is lined into the glove of Flores at short. It was a uh, Three up, three down inning, but not exactly an easy one when you take a liner. That's what Harvey did. Social network and the director of Slumdog Millionaire. Your daughter and her mother are on welfare. She's not my daughter. You must be able to see that she looks like you. What you make isn't supposed to be the best part of you. When you're a father, that's what's supposed to be the best part of you. Good luck. Steve Jobs, rated R, now playing in select theaters. Whether it takes 200,000 parts. 800,000 hours of supercomputing time, 3 million lines of code, 40,000 sets of eyes, or a million sleepless nights. Whether it's building the world's most advanced satellite, 
the space station, or the next leap in unmanned systems. At Boeing, one thing never changes. Our passion to make it real. The City Double Cash Card comes in very handy with cash back twice on purchases. Earn once when you buy and again as you pay. That's cash back now and cash back again later. It's cash back deja vu. The City Double Cash Card, the only card that lets you earn cash back twice on every purchase with 1% when you buy and 1% as you pay. With two ways to earn, it makes a lot of other cards seem one-sided. In the Outback, Steak and Lobster is back. We're pairing succulent steamed lobster tail or new jumbo lump crab cakes with our signature sirloin for a limited time. Try Steak and Seafood starting at $14.99. Only at Outback. All right, listen up. We all know that DirecTV's better at this whole TV thing. So to beat them, we're going to get bigger. We're going to merge with Cable World. Cable World? I can't stand those guys. They're the worst. They're totally incompetent. That company stinks, and I mean they smell. I used to work there. I had to breathe through my mouth the whole time. Shh, shh, shh. They're here. This is going to be fun, firing everyone. Get rid of cable and switch to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. Let's take a look at tonight's Playmakers, presented by Chrysler. Daniel Murphy has been that guy. He was in the series against the Dodgers. And he homered in his first at bat tonight with two outs in the first. Giving him four home runs and six runs batted in. He leads it off in the bottom of the sixth against John Lester in game one of the National League Championship Series. After the homer, he struck out in the fourth. Might have expanded the zone. Wanted to get a pitch to hit. He swung at a cutter outside the strike zone. In the air, shallow left. Long run and a nice play by Baez. Right in front of a sliding Kyle Schwarber. Really nice play, and he calls him off. He's got a good shot at it. But with all the, the noise, I don't think it could fu fully be heard. But he had a good track on it. Man, that could have been dangerous right there. And a lot of times, Cal, I would assume, I you've been there, obviously, but even in, in a loud crowd, if, if you're going to say that hand gestures are going to be more important than yelling, Schwarber had his eyes on that ball. Yeah. I don't know if he ever saw that the shortstop Baez was waving him off. And normally I always had a, a agreement with the outfielder. If you're if you're playing a little shallower and you think you have a shot for it, nice play. How about that by Anthony Rizzo, who leans into the first or second row over there to make the play. How about the back-to-back -back defensive plays by the Cubs? Flashing the leather. Gets over the rail. Knows when to lead in. Nice security catch. guy, a little forearm shiver. Getting back on who should call it, um, I always wanted to go back and not call it and just listen for the uh, left fielder to call it. And if there was any question, um, it's a judgment where he has to sort of make a play whether who has the best chance to get it. And, and the, the left fielder always had a, a better angle coming in, just like the shortstop has a better angle going behind the third baseman. Back to back great plays behind Lester here in the sixth. Baez and Rizzo. Oh, two down for Darno. He's tracking the ball all the way in the air. There's no way he can see a hand gesture. Again, getting to understand who's in left field when you go back, it's much easier coming in to make that play than it is to go back. And I always wanted the left fielder to help me make that judgment. You make the judgment. If you think you got a shot at it, then call early. Otherwise, I'm going to go catch it. Lester nearing the 90 pitch mark. Here comes number 89. And it's 3 and 1 to Darno.
Michael Kadire waiting on deck, getting the start at first base in place of Lucas Duda tonight. That's in the air to center field. Fowler goes back. That ball is gone. Travis Darno with a bomb to straightaway center. He hit the apple. <laughs> Ball was crushed. I was looking for this ball to hit the track, and it just kept carrying right into the apple. Barno makes like ski ball 50 points. Apple a day <laughs> makes it a 3-1 game. Darno pound for pound on this ball club is as much power as anybody. <laughs> Amazing how that happens, huh? Insert one baseball. Here comes the apple. Chris Basio out there, the pitching coach, just a Kind of circle the wagons, get Lester relaxed. Talk a little bit about the hitter. And covering his mouth so no one can read the lips. Right. So Darno, who homered here in game three in that 13 to 7 win over the Dodgers, makes it a 3 1 game going straight away center field. Well, we talked in the open that the Mets pitchers at some point had to keep the Ch Cubs hitters in the ballpark. It's the Mets hitters who had the two home runs. Murphy and Darno. And there's a base hit to right. Kadir went the other way. After the called strikeout last time, you can always tell the hitter wants to go up there and swing at the first available pitch he can hit. Drives this one right into right field. Statcast presented by Amazon Web Services. And that makes sense to me. 107 miles an hour off the bat. The 431 makes sense too. Straightaway center over the 408 sign and into the apple. To left field and that ball is deep, but it's going to hang up. Schwarber is there. But the New York Mets with a long ball from Travis Darno make it a 3 1 game in game one. The Beam family has a long history of doing things their own way. They age every drop of Jim Beam twice as long as the law requires for a true Kentucky straight bourbon. So, four long years from now, I'll be back for this one. That's how Jim Beam makes history. How will you make yours? Introducing new Jim Beam apple, poured over ice and served with club soda and a fresh lemon wedge to make a crisp, refreshing Jim Beam apple and soda. Chrysler continues to break new ground in fuel efficiency, quality, and innovation, which is impressive. But doing it for 90 years is reason to celebrate. And there's even more to celebrate with 0% APR for 72 months at the Chrysler Anniversary Celebration Event. Now get 0% financing for 72 months plus up to 1,500 total bonus cash on 2015 Chrysler vehicles. We didn't make the Galaxy Tab S2 with an octa-core processor to find the meaning of life. We did it to make the most of your extra life. We made it with expandable memory so you can spend quality time with the family of your choosing. We made it to make this feel more like this. Actually, more like this. 
Nice. Get $300 off a Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 when you buy a Galaxy S6 or Galaxy S6 Edge, only at Verizon. I am never getting married. Never. Guaranteed. You picked a beautiful ring. Thank you. We're never having kids. Mm -hmm. ah. I love it here. We are never moving to the suburbs. We are never getting one of those. We are never having another kid. I'm pregnant. I'm never letting go. For all the nevers in life, State Farm is there. Some moments are worth the journey. We'll help get the most out of every mile. Chase down your passion. Never halfway. Hunkook Tire. Hey, you know what time it is? Postseason time. That means time to get your favorite team's gear at MLB.com shop. Official jerseys, hats, t-shirts, we got them. Get your piece of the postseason right here at MLB.com shop. And get shopping. This 2015 NLCS telecast on TBS is brought to you by T-Mobile. Cheer your passion. For a chance to win World Series tickets from T-Mobile, hashtag the Big 7. And by the Blue Moon Brewing Company, artfully crafted. Top half of the seventh inning in game one of the National League Championship Series. And Anthony Rizzo takes high and away from Matt Harvey, who's back out there. Took that line drive. In the right shoulder, the right side of his back area in the last inning. I saw Lucas Duda, who has checked in at first base for the Mets. Now, if he did get hit and tighten up, where would it show? Velocity, control? Control more than velocity. Ball and a strike. Took something off and missed two balls and a strike. Rizzo, who was Hit by more pitches than anybody in baseball. Was hit in the fifth. Came around to score on a double by Starlin Castro. At that point, it tied the game. And Harvey misses again, three and one. Rizzo, a 31 home run. 101 RBI season, second straight year to crack the 30 homer plateau. And he leads off the seventh with a walk. Share your play ball moments on Twitter and Instagram using hashtag play ball for a chance to have them appear on MLB's social channels. Most of those pitches up in the strike zone, Cal. Up and out of the strike zone. That's pitching coach Dan Worthen on the phone for the Mets. So what's Terry Collins thinking? How long does he go here? Castro doubled in Rizzo his last time and takes that down low, 1 0. Madison Reed has been throwing for a long time, so he's loose. He got up as soon as Harvey was drilled with that comebacker. He's been up ever since. That's over for a strike. Count even. So the most talked about pitcher in his innings limit now out there for the seventh and his second postseason start. After getting drilled in the arm with a comeback. He's pitching with a 3 1 lead and a snap throw over. Rizzo back. But he's been able to keep his pitch count down only. This will be his 79th. That's Rizzo at first. And the way to 1 1. To Castro, liner to second, throw back, safe. It came out of Duda's. With the ball hit Rizzo on the hand, sliding back in. His left hand went up in the air as he slid back in. And gets drilled in the tricep, and then on the throw from Murphy, 
Hits him again. He was doubled up, but didn't hit him. Hit him right in that left hand. Wow, and on a night like this. That has got a sting. You see Murphy with the throw back due to waiting for the throw, and it never got to the glove. And that's fortunate there. Another line drive hit by Castro. Oh, look at Terry Collins that close to a double play. That would have helped out the pressure a lot. Taking all the pressure off. Rizzo is as tough as they get. So they've taken a look at Rizzo and he's going to stay in the game. So Brandon Hyde, the Cubs first base coach, with a word for Rizzo. And you saw Bartolo Colon, who is up and loosening now for the Mets. Rizzo still at first, one out. And here's Soler. You tell Harvey in this inning, leaking a little oil in the seventh. Pitches not as sharp as they were earlier in the game. Behind in the count. Trying to hit that outside corner with the fastball. Doesn't have the same control he had early. Solaire's 0 for 2, but he represents the tying run here in the seventh. On the corner. Two and one. Gets the call from Rob Drake. Solaire thought this ball was down and away. Maybe stolen there by Darno. The two one. Right back to the mountain off the glove of Harvey. The throw to first is late. And they're at first and second. Well, that's one of those not hit sharply. If you let it go, it's a double play, but you don't know that it's a pitcher. No, the reaction right back to you. It's off the end of the bat, had a little spin to it. In a good position to catch that one. Just didn't. Flores with the bare hand. Throw just a hair late there at first and second. Sometimes when it's hit off the end of the bat, it's almost like a change up back to the pitcher. It's an infield hit for Soler. Two on with one out here in the seventh. Soler got down the line pretty good on that. Flores made a nice play. Bare handing it, throwing on the run. Well, this is where this Cubs talented young lineup makes you very vulnerable because Harvey's obviously not throwing as well as he was early in the game and everyone in this lineup's got pop including Baez up now. Hit a slider last time for a base at the left. He's one for two. Rizzo at second Soler at first. That's Tommy Lastella who would pinch hit for David Ross. The velocity was down 93 prior to that pitch right there, back up to 95, getting ahead. The 0 1. And Harvey jumps ahead, 0 2. Two really great fastballs. A little comeback action to the outside corner at 95. Not turning a double play by the Cubs hurt them in the fifth. 
The Mets had two chances for double plays in this inning. Will it hurt them? He struck him out. Three pitches to Baez. Well, that's as good as you're going to see. Three pitches there. Two right on the black in the final four. Seymour with a little hop to it. 96 with a little hop. Travis Wood up in the pen for the Chicago Cubs. Left hander who was in the rotation at the beginning of the year and then sent to the bullpen. John Lester in the on deck circle. La Stella is hitting for David Ross, the catcher, so we'll see Montero into the game for Chicago. Joe Madden talked about the Stella before the game said he's one of those guys he likes to put up against the hard throwers. He's got a short stroke. Six for 14 is a pinch hitter. Nice success off the bench. First pitch swinging 0 and 1. Uh, Joe Madden likes the way La Stella battles at the plate. He started that wild card game in Pittsburgh at third. Harvey taking some time and Lestella stepping out then time called by the home plate umpire Rob Drake. Well, Lestella's never faced Harvey so only knows him from video. Rizzo and Solaire, the runners. No balls and two strikes. He's really bared down the last two hitters here. Fastballs come up, man's come back. Checked his swing. A ball and two strikes. I think he never lost control of the bat. Hard slider down and in. Good check swing. The one two. Sailed outside. Count even two balls and two strikes. Well, hard to tell. I think he was trying to throw a curveball here and it never broke. It just kind of slipped out of his hand. Good play by Darno. Him out and a fist pump from Harvey as he walks back to the Mets dugout with the lead preserved. There's only one way to get a gold PS4, and that is not it. Grab a Quesarito or Volcano Quesarito Big Box for your chance to win a limited edition gold PS4 bundle only at Taco Bell. What is normal? Our normal is 200 miles per hour. It's 500 degrees. It's protection for 15,000 miles. And 40 below. Our normal 
is anything but. Mobile One. Energy lives here. Take a look at these barbecue trophies. Best cracked pepper sauce. Most ribs eaten while calf roping. <laughs> yep. Greatness deserves recognition. You got any trophies, cowboy? <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, uh, well, there's this one. Best insurance mobile app? Yeah, two years in a row. Well, I'll be. Does that thing just follow you around? Like a little puppy. The award-winning Geico app. Download it today. In the Outback, Steak and Lobster is back. We're pairing succulent steamed lobster tail or new jumbo lump crab cakes with our signature sirloin for a limited time. Try Steak and Seafood starting at $14.99. Only at Outback. That's amazing. It's amazing. This is amazing. That's amazing. Real people are discovering surprising things at Chevy. We're sold. It's so pretty. Beautiful. It feels great. Perfect. This is not what I would expect from a Chevy at all. Get more than you expect for less than you imagined. The 2015 models are going fast. Find your tag and get cash back for 15% of the MSRP on select 2015 vehicles in stock. Or get 0% financing for 72 months on these remaining 2015 Chevy vehicles. Which truck brand do you think offers best-in-class HD towing, best V8 horsepower, and has Motor Trend's 2015 Truck of the Year? Ram. Chevy. What do you think? A Ford. Oh. Here's the answer. That's the Chevy Silverado HD, <laughs> the Chevy Silverado, and the Chevy Colorado. Chevy, Chevy, Chevy. It's Truck Month. Now qualified buyers get 0% financing for 60 months. Plus, find your bonus tag and get 4,000 cash allowance on select Silverado 1500 crew cabs in stock. See your local Chevy dealer today. Inside the booth presented by IBM. Here's the booth. We're inside. Ernie Johnson, Ron Darling, Cal Ripken. What a huge inning from Matt Harvey, fellas. Well, I mean, you always talk about uh, there are moments and a pitcher has to make pitches. And right there, things were not going right for him. And all of a sudden, something snapped. And all of a sudden, he comes back and makes his uh, this fastball, the, the, the actual pitch, and then he makes a beautiful change up to get out of it. So, you know, I, I like I like what you see. You like that when you're playing behind a pitcher that he has that that sort of uh, gear that he can go to. It's almost like the comebacker that he didn't make the play on kind of snapped him into it. And if the Mets are gonna play well in this division series and in this championship series against the Cubs, they're gonna have to have their young pitchers go deep into games, and Harvey did today. Miguel Montero into the game behind the plate for the Chicago Cubs after David Ross was pinch hit for and Tommy Lastella in at second base Castro who was at second moves to short so Baez is out. And Juan Lagares will lead it off in the bottom half of the seventh inning that was a festive seventh inning stretch for the Mets faithful here at City Field. Cold night, good to get up and jump around. Terry Collins stuck with him, got him through that. Garris will occasionally try to bunt, so you gotta be alert if you're the Cubbies. Takes a strike from John Lester. Well, Matt Harvey does have a bat in the on deck circle. Well, well. Pitch count low. I almost assumed that he was done after seven. <laughs> Lester to the plate. That ball was hammered down the line and left, but foul. There's a cutter that doesn't quite get all the way in. 
Problem with that is that it's hard to keep that one fair. The one two. Didn't mean to. Fouled it off the screen. Lagares with a single in the fifth inning. Came around to score on a two out RBI by Curtis Granderson. That broke the 1 1 tie, and then Travis Darno with a laser into the New York Knight straight away center field to make it 3 1. Blooper that's going to get down for a base hit. Hits that one right off the end of the bat. Well placed in left center field. Justin Grimm is the right hander. Clayton Richard, the lefty. Here's Harvey. Wants to bunt, took it high and away. Now Harvey can bunt this one toward the right side. Rizzo has to stay back at third. I mean at first. He can't, he's not nearly as close. Bryant's uh, much closer. So the place to bunt this one is to the first base side. Gets this one down. Lester with the flip to first, sacrifice accomplished. By Harvey. Well done. Well, we saw it before. Lester doesn't like to throw it. The underhand tosses his way of getting it to first. Little Matt Harvey bat flip on the way to first <laughs> on the successful sacrifice. Told you, only had one sacrifice all season, so he's so happy. To get it down. <laughs> well, here's Granderson. Knocked in the second run for the Mets in the sixth. He's been a clutch, clutch RBI yeah. guy. <laughs> also, pitchers getting a bunt down is worthy of a bat flip. Granderson Ribby came in the fifth. The home run by Darno came in the sixth. We play in the seventh. No one thrown in that Mets bullpen. I'm as surprised as you guys that Harvey looks like he might go out there for the eighth. Saul Lagares with his lead at second. In the dirt, Montero blocked it. I find it really interesting that maybe uh, the Mets and Terry Collins was protective of his young guys in his innings early on. Now you get to the playoffs and say, okay, now I'm going to ride you. We need you to go deep into the ballgame. And deep into the series as he starts game one. Runner going. Throw to third. Late. How about Juan Lagares swiping third? Well, he and Granderson are really the only threats of stealing bases. We saw right earlier in the game, but no one really holding Lagares close at second base. Not a good job done by the Cubs. And Lagares takes advantage of it. Now a fly ball of any depth scores a run. Cubs bring the infield into the edge of the grass. And why is that important? Granderson has driven in the run from third with less than two out 88% of the time. 88% of the time. Put that in perspective around baseball, it's around 54, 55% of the time. So 
great numbers for Curtis. Remember in this shift also with all the infielders on the right side in his second at bat Curtis lined the ball right at the shortstop position. No one at that position with this shift. Three balls, two strikes. In the air to left. Schwarber with the catch. Here comes the throw to the plate. He is safe. The throw on the money, but Lagares beat the ref. And it's four to one, New York. Eighty-eight percent and rising. He gets rid of it fairly quickly. One hopper. It was kind of an in-between hop where Montero had to go back to make sure he caught the ball, which he caught it behind the plate, and then brings it back to the plate, not in time. They're going to appeal at third in hopes that he left early, but as you can see by the first replay we showed you, he waited. So he got in position to get the big hop, but it put, took him out of position to make the tag. Joe Madden makes his way to the mound with that stocking cap on and he will take out John Lester who works into the seventh inning. Another look. The slide, the tag a hair late, the lead is 4-1. We're family. We'd do anything for each other. But this time, those bonds were definitely tested. Frog leg for my baby brother. Don't frogs have, like, two legs? So they should have two of these. Since I'm active duty and she's family, I was able to set my sister up with a sweet membership from Navy Federal. If you hold it closer, it looks bigger. <laughs> Eat your food. My big sis likes to make tiny food, and I'm okay with that. Open to the armed forces, the DOD, and their families. Navy Federal Credit Union. Watson? Annabelle, your birthday is tomorrow. I'm turning seven. What did you ask for? A princess and a pony. You like things that begin with P. I like pink frosting, too. Will you have a cake? Yeah, I was too sick to have one last year. The data your doctor shared shows you're healthy. Are you a doctor? No, I help doctors identify cancer treatments. I want to be a doctor someday. I can help with that, too. Watson, I like you. When it's your job to protect the world's greatest nation, it's your responsibility to solve the world's greatest challenges. This is why we search for the best and brightest, why we train for every eventuality, on land and water, in the air, space, and even cyberspace. We operate in a complex world with one simple mission, win. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Office of the Commissioner of Baseball and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form, and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without express written consent. You're watching the NLCS here on TBS, and Game 2 comes your way tomorrow night at 8. Coverage begins at 7.30 with the MLB postseason pregame show on TBS presented by Chrysler. The ALCS resuming Monday, Royals and Blue Jays in Toronto on FS1. End of the night for John Lester after six and two thirds, allowing four earned runs, struck out five, walked a batter. And he gives way to Justin Grimm. Well, this Chicago bullpen got better and better as the season went along. But Justin Grimm in his 62 appearances, that's a career high. Or low with that ERA of 1.99. Good fastball straight over 12 to 6 curveball featured by Grimm. A lot of rotation on that curveball. David Wright is 0 for 2. 
did walk in the fourth and steal a base. Breaking pitch. Had him fooled. He turned away from it. And it settled into Montero's mitt for a called strike. One and one. Cubs bullpen this postseason. 21 strikeouts. One walk. And Grimm ahead. One and two. Fastball just over 50% of the time. He loves his breaking ball. It's a good one. I'd like it too. Grimm out of the University of Georgia in 2010. Debuted with the Rangers. 2012. Appeared in 62 games in the regular season. Here's the 2 2 to right. That missed. Count full. He likes his breaking ball, but he can't be thrown in here. Can he? I think he can. But they opt for the fastball away. Rounded up toward first, and Rizzo makes the play. But the New York Mets add to the lead. We head to the eighth. It's 4 1. Being detected was not an option. If I was recognized, the whole operation was blown. The element of surprise was imperative. Wow. <laughs> he won't even recognize you. Seriously. I don't even recognize myself. And thanks to my cash rewards credit card from Navy Federal with never expiring rewards, it's gonna be a killer honeymoon. Woo! Maui! <laughs> Boom. Open to the armed forces, the DOD, and their families. Navy Federal Credit Union. We're a marketing research company, so I need to collect your phone so you can't post pictures. Okay, how does it feel to not be connected? My chest hurts. Well, let me give your phones back. <laughs> let me show you a better way to keep connected. The 2016 oh. Chevy Cruze offers built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi that connects up to seven devices. So this thing puts out its own signal? Yes. This is next level Chevy. Still haven't tried FanDuel's one-week fantasy football leagues? Over one million fans have already won money. Choose a league. They start at a dollar. Pick your team. Done. Winners get paid the next day and there's no season-long commitment. FanDuel pays out $75 million a week. Get off the sidelines and get some. Try FanDuel today. We'll match your first deposit up to 200 bucks. Love it or your money back, guaranteed. Go to FanDuel.com and enter promo code PUNTER. That's PUNTER. Lift with your legs. It's not gonna fit up the stairs. What time does Goodwill close? Goodwill is open until 9 p.m. Show me a moving company nearby. Moving company within six miles. How do I get to 3221 Carter Ave? 326 High Street. Here are your directions. When does my package arrive? Your most recent order has shipped. Thank you. Setting new home address. Text mom. I really like it here. Black Angus beef and bacon. So tense. Fire roasted peppers and onions. It's mix. Let's settle this. Should we tell him it's both? Eventually. Yes. Introducing the Tex-Mex Bacon Thick Burger, only at Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. Twenty fifteen National League Championship Series coverage on TBS presented by Exxon and Mobile. So glad you're with us here tonight from City Field in New York for game one. And just to show you that a lot of, of handshakes in the dugout after the seventh inning it doesn't necessarily mean your <laughs> night is over. Matt Harvey back out there in the eighth pitching with a 4 1 lead here in game one and Chris Coughlin will pinch it to lead it off. It's almost like when he ended that seventh, he reached back for a little extra 
to end that inning with a couple of strikeouts. Will he have anything left here in the eighth? Coughlin in the air, left center field. Lagares makes the play for the first out. Got this engine room of the Chicago Cubs to get through one more time. Top of the order with Fowler and then Schwarber and Bryant and Rizzo. On the Cubs. left, familiar. On the right, Clippard. Cubbies hitting 10 home runs in the series against the St. Louis Cardinals. Haven't gone deep here in game one. One run in the fifth inning. Breaking pitch. Fowler took it. 0 and 1. The lone Chicago run tonight. A run scoring double by Starlin Castro. Scoring Anthony Rizzo, who'd been hit by a pitch. Shallow left. Flores gives way to Cespedes for the second out. Stay tuned after the game for the postseason show on TBS presented by the Lincoln Motor Company. Our guys uh, have their have their set out there in uh, in right center field. You know, Dusty's out there and Chef and, and Pedro and Casey Stern and uh, let me just say it's not the warmest place uh, <laughs> in the world uh, to be but those guys nothing's going to stop them. Listen to this crowd will you. We talked about that pitch count and all that and Scott Boris his agent and, and Scott Boris saying look he gave his arm to this team two years ago. That was one of the most recent quotes. Hit to right and hit pretty well. Hit really well. And that ball is gone. Kyle Schwarber with his fourth postseason home run, and he makes it a two run game. Boy, this young man just does not miss any mistakes. It's a crowd comes alive at Murphy's Bleachers. So Harvey pitches into the eighth, gets the first two, but that's going to be it, and they will roar here at City Field. T-Mobile knocked it out of the park. We doubled our 4G LTE coverage across the country since last year, and the hits keep coming. Our new extended range LTE signal reaches twice as far and is four times better in buildings than before. Think you know our LTE coverage? Think again. Share your fan photos and videos with hashtag the Big Seventh for a chance to be on TV during the World Series on Fox. Still haven't tried FanDuel's one-week fantasy football leagues? Over one million fans have already won money. Choose a league. They start at a dollar. Pick your team. Done. Winners get paid the next day and there's no season-long commitment. FanDuel pays out $75 million a week. Get off the sidelines and get some. Try FanDuel today. We'll match your first deposit up to 200 bucks. Love it or your money back, guaranteed. Go to FanDuel.com, enter promo code PUNTER. That's PUNTER. I built my business with passion, but I keep it growing by making every dollar count. That's why I have the Spark Cash Card from Capital One. I earn unlimited 2% cash back on everything I buy for my studio. And that unlimited 2% cash back from Spark means thousands of dollars each year going back into my business. And that's huge for my bottom line. What's in your wallet? Aerial coverage provided by Goodyear. Everything Goodyear has learned making tires that go the distance inspires what they roll into yours. Goodyear, more driven. Ball that Kyle Schwarber hit. Did not hit the blimp, but it was touched off. 
Well, that's the first home run given up by Mets pitching in the postseason. And it was a long one. Or I think that's all he hits are long home runs. He got to a challenge count and a 4-1 lead. He threw the fastball and said, okay, see how far you can hit this one. He said, okay. And he made it a 4-2 game. First homer given up by starting pitching by the Mets here in the postseason. Tonight's forecast are presented by FanDuel. 73% of the runs scored by the Cubs via the long ball in this postseason. And here's Chris Bryant, who hit 26 of them in his rookie season. And has one in the post as well. Familia is in. Familia faced 16 Dodgers, retired all 16 in the division series. He's got to get four tonight. <laughs> 95 on that fastball, and he jumps ahead 0 and 2. He likes to quick pitch you every once in a while, so you've got to be ready if you're a hitter. In tight, almost hit him. Two seamer that's running all the way in there, about 95. A well, one two. Stay down low, count even. This year, Familia had three four out saves. The other night in game five, he got the last six outs to nail it down against the Dodgers at Chavez Ravine. Good at bat by Chris Bryant. 0 2 to 3 2. Base runner would bring the tying run to the plate here in the eighth, and it's Anthony Rizzo waiting on deck. Cubby's team so hard to face. A walk or a bloop. They always have someone coming up who can hit the ball out of the ballpark. Payoff pitch from Familia. And the battle continues with the rookie Bryant. Familia broke his bat with that pitch inside. Familia appearing in all but one game in that Dodger series. Five and a third. As Ron pointed out, retired everybody's faced with three strikeouts. Here we go again with a 3 2. And Bryant draws the two out walk and brings the tying run to the plate here in the eighth. That was good at bat by Bryant. Laid off some real tough pitches. And fouled off a couple other tough ones to earn that walk. He'll walk and he'll hit the ball out of the ballpark. They're saying the home run by Schwarber was 459. Longest of the postseason so far. Here's Rizzo. On the ground to short. 
Flores throws him out. Familia comes on, gives up the walk, but then gets the bounce out. But the Cubs with Schwarber going deep, cut it to 4-2. Exxon and Mobil give you energy for all life's journeys. Because where we go is who we are. Exxon and Mobil. Energy lives here. Exxon and Mobil are proud plenty partners. Lots of points, lots of places. One rewards program. This is perfect. Celebrating our anniversary with a strawberry shortcake shake. Wait, what anniversary? Of coming here yesterday? You totally forgot. No. Oh, here, oh. look. I got you something. Oh, my gosh. Is it a watch? Have your cake and drink it, too. New ice cream cake, shakes, and cones. This is how you sonic. Before earning enough cash back from Bank of America to take their act to the next level. Before earning 1% cash back everywhere, every time. 2% back at the grocery store. And 3% back on gas. Vince of the Flying Brand Zenos got a Bank of America card cash rewards credit card. Because he may earn his living jumping through hoops, but he'd rather not earn cash back that way. That's the spectacle of rewarding connections. Apply online or at a Bank of America near you. Now with no monthly payments until 2016, bring home the go-kart handling of the mini hardtop. Fit more friends with the hardtop four-door. Or the bigger mini countryman with available all-wheel drive. Bring home your mini today at the Zero for 15 mini sales event with zero hassles and zero holdups. It's all thrills and no monthly payments until 2016. We love having NFL Network and spending all Sunday with game day. It's like we're family, but we need to set some family rules. If you're going to be on the air before anyone else, you're making the coffee. I make a mean cappuccino. His cappuccino is awful. And can you please make sure I get all the fantasy stats? I really need to beat Fred at work. Fred's going down. And if you're going to be up later than anyone else on game day final, for Pete's sake, don't let the dog get out. It was one time. NFL game day morning, tomorrow at 9, only on NFL Network. This is Pete. Pete is helping his aunt move, so he's not thinking about tires right now. But if he were, all he'd need to know is TireRack.com. Right now, he could get up to a $120 Visa prepaid card when he buys a set of four select Kumo tires. For details, he'd go to TireRack.com slash Kumo offer. But Pete's not thinking about tires. Pete's thinking it would have been nice if his aunt had mentioned the minor bird. TireRack.com. Find, deliver, install. The upcoming schedule is presented by State Farm. Here's the way this National League Championship Series plays out. Game two tomorrow night here on TBS. We will travel to Chicago Monday and then be at Wrigley for games three, four, and five if necessary on Thursday and then back here at City Field for games six and seven. Familia is a hoss out of that pen. Murphy, high chopper, tough play. He is out. Out. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Pal saw it one way from here. There was close. La Stella. I was just thinking, as magic as his bat's been, he's going to be one of those hits, but it looks like he got him. He just maybe. Well, let's take another gander <laughs> at that. That's what Terry Collins is saying. Ooh. And you got Ronnie out or save? Well, because he called him out, uh, I think there's not enough evidence to, to turn it another way. I mean, it really looked like a bang bang tie goes to the runner kind of play. It's kind of the second play we've seen where it appeared that a flip would beat a runner easily and it doesn't always happen that way. We had a we had a challenge and an overturn in the other series. That's that's tight. I think Lestella was far enough away to, to have a, put a little more on that ball with a sidearm throw. That's all goes back to where the ball is in, in the, the glove. glove. It's a touching the back of the leather. 
because yeah, that angle right there is a little deceiving. Yeah. The, you uh, can't see where when it's in the back of the leather. The umpire on the right is Ted Barrett, who's the crew chief. I think this will be pretty quick. It's either clear and convincing or not, in my opinion. Ted Barrett, by the way, with one of the more distinguished uh, bios among the uh, umpiring crews. I don't know if you can overturn that. From that, know. from that angle right there, he's out. Yep. And Barrett confirms that Ted Barrett is a uh, an amateur boxer and an ordained minister, which means he could probably beat the devil out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Joe Madden in his winter gear back out on the mound, and that'll be it for Clayton Richard. Trevor Cahill gets the call here in the eighth. In a two-run game. The opener of the National League Championship Series. We'll be back. The Beam family has a long history of doing things their own way. They age every drop of Jim Beam twice as long as the law requires. So, four long years from now, I'll be back for this one. Jim Beam, make history. This one's called Blue. She's the beta. Who's the alpha? You're looking at him. The number one movie in the world is coming. These animals are thinking, I gotta eat. Run! Jurassic World, only on Blu ray Tuesday on Digital HD Now. I know how influential it is when you have good people outside of your parents that help you grow. We have to stretch our legs because power comes from the ground two, up. Go to, go to, go to. The Boys and Girls Club can help kids strive for future success. One of our main purposes on Earth is to positively impact as many lives as we can. Nice, dude. Yeah. Boys and Girls Clubs is the official charity of Major League Baseball. Great futures start here. So how did you get this gold PS4? So last week I ran into this guy, Dimitri Two Hands. He used to run with the mob. Anyway, his goons boosted some bullion from the Kemerov vault. But the bars are marked, so they had to melt them down. Now it's in a cookhouse. You know the right guys and have the dinero. People are dipping all sorts of stuff in it. That's how. Really? Because I heard that you can only win it at Taco Bell. Oh. Grab a Quesarito or Volcano Quesarito Big Box for a chance to win a limited edition gold PS4 bundle. There's a winner every 10 minutes. Welcome back to City Field as we play in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Trevor Cahill has come on and well, he's had a resurgence on Joe Madden's Cubs. I mean, they signed him in the middle of August, activated him on September 1st, and in 11 appearances with just Chicago. Unbelievable splits as far as his walks to strikeouts. The Chevrolet pitch arsenal, you see it there. He started the season with the Atlanta Braves and pitched in 15 games, made three starts. He was 0-3 with an ERA of seven and a half. Braves released him in June, signed a minor league deal with the Cubs in August. And he has performed very well in those 11 relief appearances. Got a tough customer on his hands here and Joanna Cespedes. Cespedes a couple of strikeouts and then he fouled the ball down the right side that Rizzo made a great play reaching into the stands to snare in the sixth. Great thing about this game and that when you saw Cahill earlier in the year for Atlanta. He looked lost. Looked like maybe his career was was done. And he comes back and becomes an important part of the bullpen for the Cubs. Three balls and a strike. This is a guy who won 18 games in 2010 and was an American League All-Star as a member of the A's. 
in Arizona last season he was three and twelve. Broken bat squibber to second. Estella throws him out. Two up and two down here in the New York eighth. Well, it looked like he found his sinker. <laughs> Be as simple as that. Always had some good breaking stuff. Sometimes the angle of his uh, sinker. This is a 3 1 pitch. He's got a pretty good, darn good sinker. You get in, in on Seth with his 3 1. Probably felt pretty good, didn't it, Cal? <laughs> <laughs> I think the ones off the end of the bat night, nights like this feel a whole lot worse than that one. It does take the spirit out of you wanting to hit though. <laughs> Sapping your very spirit. Here is Travis Tarnot. This was a shot in the sixth inning. Straight away center field for the Mets catcher. That's why the Mets organization just love this kid. His only issue is can he stay on the field? He's had some injuries, two more this year. Deal worked out pretty well. That R.A. Dickey trade. And the Mets sent him to Toronto, and you get Darno, you get Noah Syndergaard yeah. in exchange. And he will go down swinging here. On the change to and the eighth. We are heading to the ninth in game one. Mets lead it by two. It's not about hugging trees. It's not about being wasteful either. You just gotta find that balance. When taking care of yourself takes care of more than just yourself. Lease an MKZ hybrid for $2.99 a month, only at your Lincoln dealer. I'm looking to get a new iPhone for my son. Oh, we have it. And right now you can get 15 gigs for the price of 10, so that's 50% more data. Oh, good, because he goes through data like crazy. <laughs> oh, there's my boy. <laughs> he goes through data like crazy. Yeah, yeah, data, streaming, texting, emailing, loves watching football games. Oh, yeah? Who's your favorite team? He texts. He doesn't talk. <laughs> that would be weird. Get an iPhone at AT&T and get 50% more data. And right now, get $300 credit for every line you switch. Who's ready to have a baby? Buster Posey. You're not my doctor. Come on, I'm sort of your doctor. I mean, we both wear gloves, and we always deliver in the clutch. Gloves? Clutch. No, I'm sorry. Perhaps we take a vote? No. OK, guys, are we going to do this or not? Let him try. No. Sort of you isn't you. Honey, you're embarrassing me in front of Buster Posey. Esurance helps make sure you only pay for what's right for you, not someone sort of like you. Esurance, official sponsor of Major League Baseball. You know, Viagra helps guys with erectile dysfunction get and keep an erection. Talk to your doctor about Viagra. Ask your doctor if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Viagra if you take nitrates for chest pain. It may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Side effects include headache, flushing, upset stomach, and abnormal vision. To avoid long-term injury, seek immediate medical help for an erection lasting more than four hours. Stop taking Viagra and call your doctor right away if you experience a sudden decrease or loss in vision or hearing. Ask your doctor about Viagra. During the postseason, we're turning up the power with more coverage. Oh my goodness. Oh. More breakdowns of every amazing play. Oh, baby! And more analysis of what's happened and what's up next. MLB Tonight on MLB Network or stream live on MLBNetwork.com and the At Bat app. Powered up before and after every postseason game. The 2015 National League Championship Series coverage on TBS is presented by Exxon and Mobile. Well, we move to the ninth. Cubs need two to tie. Castro, Soler, Montero do here in the ninth.
Astros had a good game. He had that run scoring double and then lined out to Murphy at second base. Jay Reese Familia looking to nail down another one for the Mets. If you're wondering, the last time the Cubs won a war, won a, a, a game in the postseason when trailing after eight. 1910 World Series game four against Philadelphia. Won that one in ten. You know, they've been breaking all the rules all year this year, Joe Madden's Cubs. He might have been the most important free agent signing of players and managers last year. Changed the entire culture around the Chicago team. Two balls, one strike. Now three and one. Cubs need a runner on to bring the tying run to the plate. And when Familia came on, he did walk the first battery face, Chris Bryant, but then got Rizzo to ground out to short. Seven miles an hour to run the count full. Not exactly sure if that's for warp because you can't bear to watch here in the ninth <laughs> inning. Maybe a little bit of both. Castro waiting. The 3 2. Popped him up. Shallow right. Murphy back. One down. For Familia, 43 saves in the regular season. Tied the Mets franchise record held by Armando Benitez, and he kind of reminds you of Benitez, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, the liveliness of his arm well, as a horse. You know, you could look at him and say he can go multiple innings. Armando was really valuable to our club. Jorge Soler takes a strike. 0 and 1. In a setup role, uh, Randy Myers saved all those games that year, but he never pitched in a tie game and never pitched in extra innings. Armando did all that. And quickly the big right hander jumps ahead 0 and 2. Bottom just dropped out of that sinker. That's a lot of movement for that speed. Made him look bad, tied him up, and struck him out. You don't see a lot of check swings on a fastball. You know, like a half swings, like you get fooled by it. Just moved and ran in on him. Started after it and realized he didn't want to. Tenth strikeout by Mets pitcher. Cubs struck out more than anybody in the regular season, though the Cardinals actually struck out more than they did in the NLDS. Here's Montero. Line drive. That's going to get through. And so the tying run will come to the plate. This place went from rocking to silent in the fraction of a second. Montero said, I'm not sticking around. The first good one I'm going to hit. Ted Barrett with some nifty moves to get out of the way of that baseball. That is the first hit that Familia has allowed this postseason. And here's Tommy LaStella. LaStella struck out in the seventh.
That was on a pinch hitting roll for David Ross. is eating or drinking, <laughs> but I want some. Ball hit right on the nose, Cal. Catches it on a dive and a short hop at the same time. He's excited, and he should be. <laughs> Every night he does something. Tonight, a home run. And then with the Cubs on the verge of a ninth inning rally, diving play to record the final out. Defense with his legs stealing the base and with a long ball. Well, who do you suppose we should hear from? Yeah, I got a good idea. Let's go to <laughs> Sam with Daniel Murphy. Yes, indeed. Fittingly, the last out of the game making that play. But let's talk about your home runs. Now, three consecutive games with postseason home runs to tie a Mets franchise record. When you are seeing the ball that well, what is it like? Um, you know, um, like I said, Seth is swinging the bat well. I'm getting good pitches to hit. Uh, missed a couple tonight, unfortunately, but that first at bat, I got a cutter in the middle. Um, put a pretty good move on it. But you can't say enough about Matt Harvey tonight. The guy goes uh, six and two thirds on like less than 100 pitches. Uh, turn it over to the Yuri's. He goes five out, four out save right there. This is a lot of fun. I like doing the interviews because it means we won. Not, not to like I played well, but we're winning baseball games. So. What was it like the crowd? They were on their feet. They were chanting all night. NLCS game one. You take this one over the Cubs. They were rocking tonight. This was a lot of fun. Um, you know, John threw the ball well over there. He kind of kept us off balance a little bit. But I think Harvey, you know, Harvey threw the ball really well. We had some good at bats. What a swing by Travis Darno. He hit one in the apple. I've never seen that before. Um, you know, Ligaris playing the game right there. You know, he gets his base hit, takes third. Grandy cashes it in. That was a lot of fun. What a nice start to the series. Congratulations. Thank you. Guys, back to you. All right, Sammy. Well, when we came on the air tonight, we talked about the fact that the Cubs had won all seven meetings over the Mets in the regular season. Well, that's over. And uh, boy, what a game by Matt Harvey. I think that's the only thing that Daniel Murphy got wrong in this last week. He didn't know that Harvey went into the eighth and went <laughs> seven and two thirds. Uh, but Harvey was outstanding, got hit in the pitching arm with a comebacker, had the wherewithal to get into the eighth and get the ball to Familia. Yeah, he was really impressive. Uh, Harvey came out with really good control, mixing his pitches really well, giving the hitters something to think about. And then when he needed to dig down most, when he got in trouble, he came through. All right, Matt Harvey's down there with Sam. Well, here is Matt Harvey. I know this was a different outing for you than what we saw Monday. Terry talked about your command early. What was the difference for you? Yeah, big time. I think, you know, with all pitches, I was able to, to find the strike zone. And like I said, I, I think they hit a couple balls hard, but luckily they were right at guys. We had good, good, uh, good fielding placement. And, I was able to mix pitches up, and, and that was the biggest help. You know, they, they just go out there, throw strikes, mix things up, not get into a, a routine, and the guys made all the plays behind me. You talked about being on regular rest yesterday and being in your routine. How much of a difference did that make for you? Oh, big time. I think not not so much early in the game, but as you as you stay out there a little bit longer, you definitely get into more of a rhythm. And, and today, I definitely found it early and, and kind of kept kept with it. 
Later in some of the innings, getting out of jams. Let's talk about the sixth, though, early in that one, the comebacker by Dexter Fowler. Hits you on the shoulder. You still made the play. What happened there? Well, I, I knew it scored me up pretty good and, and had no idea where the ball went, but it actually hit me in the back of the head and, and dropped right in front of the mound. So I was luckily, luckily I heard David scream that it was right there, and I, I saw it, and, and uh, you know, fortunately enough, I made a good throw and got him out. And they were chanting your name all night. Congratulations, Matt. Thank you very much. Back to you guys. All right, thank you very much, Sam. Game one goes to the New York Mets. We'll be back to wrap it up from City Field right after this. True luxury is not just a heated leather seat or refined chrome accents. It's the places it will take you. The Jeep Grand Cherokee, the most luxurious vehicle in its class. Get 0% APR financing on the 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee for well-qualified buyers, plus $500 Jeep Celebration bonus cash. The most awarded, rewarding SUV ever. This is Phyllis. Phyllis is headed to a science conference, so she's not thinking about tires right now. But if she were, all she'd need to know is TireRack.com. Right now, she can get up to a $120 Visa prepaid card when she buys a set of four select Kumo tires. For details, she'd go to TireRack.com slash Kumo offer. But Phyllis isn't thinking about tires. Phyllis is thinking, uh, well, I'm not really sure, but it's probably important. TireRack.com. Find, deliver, install. Don't miss Ace's biggest ever buy two, get one free LED sale this Friday through Sunday. Buy any two select LED bulbs and get one free. Mix and match from our best-selling, longest-lasting LED bulbs and get over 80% in energy savings. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. I'm really into this car, but how do I know if I'm getting a good deal? I tell True Car my zip and which car I want, and True Car shows the range of prices people in my area actually paid for the same car, so I know if I'm getting a great price. This is how car buying was always meant to be. This is True Car. This 2015 NLCS telecast on TBS is brought to you by Navy Federal Credit Union, proudly serving the armed forces and their families for over 80 years. By FanDuel, the leader in one-day fantasy sports. By DirecTV, call 1-800-DIRECTV. And by Chobani, love this life. Back here at City Field, Scott Cockle produced it, Matt Lipp directed it. We had a blast bringing it to you. Game one of the National League Championship Series. Great job by Billy Proctor, Keith Robinson, Chris Nelson, Adam King, and Gretchen Caney. Final score was 4-2. to two. Mets over the Cubs for Ron Darling and Cal Ripken and Sam Ryan and Matt Weiner. And the rest of the crew, this is Ernie Johnson saying good night from New York. TBS is your home for the National League postseason. Following a quick break, stay tuned for the postseason show on TBS. Presented by the Lincoln Motor Company. Good night, everybody. A bell with their martini. Of course. Shaken, not stirred. Excellent choice, Mr. Bond. So how did you get this gold PS4? So last week I ran into this guy, Dimitri Two Hands. He used to run with the mob. Anyway, his goons boosted some bouillon from the Kemerov vault. But the bars are marked, so they had to melt them down. Now it's in a cookhouse. You know the right guys and have the dinero. People are dipping all sorts of stuff in it. That's how. Really? Because I heard that you can only win it at Taco Bell. Oh. Grab a Quesarito or Volcano Quesarito Big Box for a chance to win a limited edition gold PS4 bundle. There's a winner every 10 minutes. True luxury is not just a heated leather seat or refined chrome accents. It's the places it will take you. The Jeep Grand Cherokee, the most luxurious vehicle in its class. 
Get 0% APR financing on the 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee for well-qualified buyers, plus $500 Jeep Celebration bonus cash. The most awarded, rewarding SUV ever. My name is Martin Oden. I'm a government operative in the FBI. You're not silent, sweet, sweet. Basketball's grandest stage awaits. The championship game will have it on TBS. The moments they talk about for a lifetime. City Field game one goes to the New York Mets by a score of four to two. Matt Harvey's longest outing since the 11th of August ends up going eight, getting it done, seven and two thirds, setting up Familia to close it out. The chance went from Ding Dong Johnson pregame to Pedro postgame. Most of us are warmer, not Dusty Baker. Casey Stern alongside my great team here, the Hall of Famer Pedro Martinez and Gary Sheffield. And Dusty, we've got a ton to break down with you, but let's begin by setting you up for what's to take place tomorrow. That's a very important game number two. It'll be Thor against the man Pedro calls Scream, Arietta against Syndergaard. In game two coming up tomorrow, our pregame coverage begins like it did this evening at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Let's take a look at how we got there and got a one nothing lead in this series for the New York Mets. And take a look at the highlight. A little bit of a welcome to the NLCS, the Mets and the Cubs. A little bit cold, and Joe Madden certainly was such. You could tell that with the hat first inning. And Daniel Murphy has been anything but cold. Yeah, he's, he's been on everything. He this guy's been this locked one? in. Yeah. I noticed something, you know, last series what he was doing he's been tracking pitches and if you get that pitch again in that same area this is what he's going to do to a deposit it pedro what'd you notice from matt harvey right from the go well harvey had an outstanding command and great break on his pitches everyone I got that he threw for the first three innings were pretty much on the spot he wanted with the speed he wanted and the break he wanted Fowler, Schwarber, Soler, Ross, five strikeouts in the first three innings for Harvey. We get you to the fifth, and Anthony Rizzo got hit 30 oh. times this year. There's a reason why, except this one stings for sure. Absolutely. you got to see how he's going to feel tomorrow, because anytime you get a hit on the elbow, your body, your, your mind wants to play, but your body won't let you. Dusty, you talked about the wind. Well, I mean, Damon, that was a, that was a big play when he hit Rizzo, because he was dealing before then. Yes. But that wind took that ball, and, and it took off. I was sitting right out here. Yes. It looked like he thought he was going to catch it, and it just took off on him. Javier Baez, single to left. Cespedes with the nice gun. Play. Throws out Castro. Nice play at home as well by Darno Dusty. Oh, that, I mean, both of them. But you know something? It's hard to test Cespedes. You don't, you don't run on La Potencia. Oh, oh, no, look here. <laughs> hey, man, he will gun you out. Yes, he will. Yeah, Travis Darno throws it down to first. Then Matt Harvey. The bunting usually an issue here. Chris Bryant on the throw to third drops the ball, misses the potential double play, ends up losing the ball, but only on the transfer. Yeah, on the transfer, but he had more time than he thought. He was trying to get out the way of the barging in runner, but he had more time. Harvey didn't get out of the box. He should have just took his time and took a, a, a crow step and throw the ball to first base. Curtis Granderson single to center, scores Juan Lagares to make it two to one. That was big as we headed into the sixth inning. And Pedro, talk us through what you saw here where Matt Harvey takes this line drive. Well, I, 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 I saw a, a guy that, that, was, that was out there to stay, to win. He really wanted it. And and he showed me a lot more than, than people have been saying about him. This is a great lesson for him 
this game today. He showed his toughness. He showed that he can do it, and I hope he learns from this one. Kyle Schwarber next up. He grounds out to Harvey. Nice play. Yeah, Throws him out at first. But he had to have a close play like that. Yeah. Yeah. After he gets hit in the arm. Two to one the score. And then next up, Travis Darno. Oh. And we'll call this, forget Ding Dong Johnson, it's Ding Dong Red Delicious. He hits the apple on a fly. It is Ding Dong Darnie. <laughs> That's a, that's a big boy home run there. That is a huge boy home run. <laughs> Bottom of the seventh inning, first and second. Juan Lagara steals third base. We didn't think this would be a factor, Chef, but we saw a couple of steals in the game. Yeah, it came into play. This was a smart play on his behalf to stretch the lead because, you know, two runs is not safe. And when you got Curtis Grandison up there, he has that clutch gene. But and he came through, for, came through for him that time. But rarely do you steal third with a left-hand hitter and a... And, uh, 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 you know, with the first base, I mean, third base open like that. Yes. Granderson sack fly gets Ligaris home. You look, you look in another replay. Montero set up because of the hop, Pedro, and you notice right away behind the plate on the setup. Yeah, he was a little bit too far back trying to get the, the good bounce on the ball, but then that's when Lagares bit him. But that's the new well, rule. I think well. I, the new rule kicked in right there because yes, he couldn't is. go up front of the plate and get that ball and block the plate. Kyle well, Schwarber next inning. His swing is real, and it is still well. spectacular. Really 459 well. feet, the longest home run so far in the postseason, and an ambush. Yeah, that's an ambush right there. I love to see them. He almost hit our set. Hey, you know, I, hit that ball so far. I thought I was going to get a souvenir. <laughs> Matt Harvey, longest performance outing. All those innings questions maybe go away at least for now. And then how about this with Daniel Murphy? A sweet play, as was the call from EJ. Over to Duda. You could tell that he's been locked in at the plate. And he's got that warrior look to him in the field as well. The Mets, 4-2. to two, The final score against the Chicago Cubs here in the NLCS in game one to take a lead in the series. Shortly after the loss, here's what Joe Madden, the skipper of the Cubs, had to say. Hey Joe, can you um, give us your assessment of your team's play and how they handled the big stage and everything tonight? Beautifully. If Harvey wasn't pitching, it looked a lot better. Uh, he was outstanding tonight. Uh, give him credit because he had he had uh, about as good of command as you possibly can of all of his pitches. Uh, the stuff is always good, but the command was outrageous tonight. And that therein lies the game because John pitched well too. I thought we were fine, absolutely fine. I just think that he was absolutely on top of his game tonight. And again to the left in the front, Barry. Bear. Joe, could you go over the play at, at the plate, Castro slide and the, the tag and how, how that all evolved? Yeah, I mean, it's a good throw. Uh, Cespedes can throw. He made a great throw on that particular play. Um, Starlin had tried to avoid the play, and he was unable to, but uh, that's just a good throw on their part. Um, you could say that possibly not send the runner, but we did. And... Um, it was just a good baseball player on their part. Um, Rossi coming up, there's different things you could possibly do. But Jones, he's been aggressive all year. He's been a great third base coach all year, and I never second guess him. And straight up. All right, you hear there from Joe Madden. Matt Harvey, he's hot in the cold. We said it before the game. The other, uh, came in 4-0 and and had an ERA under 1 when the degrees were below 50. We'll now look 1.05 ERA in 43 innings. That way, let's take a look at the outing and go through what were the ups early and then, obviously, after he got hit, a little bit more of the struggles. Let's start with, at the beginning of the game, what did you guys notice, Pedro, about the stuff specifically from the dark night here in the early going? Well, his determination of the... Uh, 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 from the get-go was different than the one he had in the, in the previous game. But, but his command, his, his breaking pitches were sharp from the get-go. And he wanted to place the ball anywhere he wanted on the plate. He did it tonight. And, and, and today is one of the best days I've seen him so far during the regular season and now during the postseason. I told you before the game, if he get his breaking ball over early, it's going to be a easy game for him. And after the second batter, when he threw that uh, breaking ball to uh, Scherzer, I knew he was on his game. He was working both sides of the plate. And like I said, the net 96 never leaves you. When you have that out pitch stuff, it's going to be a good night. But Terry Collins said the last game that he pitched, he says he's never seen him that wild before. So I knew he was going to come out this game with good command. I mean, you can see the determination in his walk and his in his in his uh, demeanor and in his eyes. And I and I tell you, this this young man uh, won some hearts back in New York. Well, he won him tonight. This, to, right. Tonight he proved himself. He he showed what he's all about. He's the ace of this staff.
Now, something we saw in the seventh inning after he got hit, we were talking about this watching the game. Take us through, you said when he got hit, he was throwing more of the fastball successfully, lost the breaking stuff. Why? Because he couldn't get extension. He got hit on his bicep. So he was trying to get extension. What he was doing early in the game, he was getting extension on it. But when he got hit, he couldn't reach out as far and get that good break on it. And as a veteran player, I look for stuff like that. And now I'm going to make him a fastball pitcher. And see, I didn't think that he could go that far to tell you the truth because I thought he was going to stiffen up on him and, and and the longer he sat in the dugout I mean that's a that, I mean that's something that a manager got to really really pay attention to yes the player's going to tell you I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine but you got to go out there and kind of see his performance you know before we move on can we get a shot of chef can we <laughs> I, can we ISO Sheffield for a second here doesn't that look a little bit like Ray Lewis yeah oh, that's, hey, yeah, Ray Lewis look like me I'm yeah, the yeah, oldest yeah, that's yeah. my little that's, that's my little brother you. I'm that's the oldest that's my little exactly. brother you, you, can you do the dance <laughs> That's kind of how Daniel Murphy has looked. That's the best segue I can come up with. I don't know. Let's take a look at something that we noticed in the game. Daniel Murphy has been very, very comfortable at the plate. What have you noticed, Ray, about Daniel Murphy? Well, you know, every, he was tracking the ball well. You see this breaking ball. Now you see his left leg come forward. Now he's tracking that. Now he knows what's going to come next. They're trying to get him out of the way on that soft stuff because he's hot. So now he's in, he engaged him up, and he's just baiting him and throw him another one. And he threw him another one, and this is what you're supposed to do with it. That's right. You look at Daniel Murphy, he ends up coming through and hitting the home run. Dusty is a hitter. When you were locked in this way, was there a different feel? You got some swag to your game. I mean, you were up here in the cold. Mm -hmm. We got warm for a little bit, like yeah. six, seven innings worth. Well, was most, there a little bit of swag that you noticed here from Murph? Well, <laughs> most definitely. And, and, and you know the thing about it, you're covering balls away. You know, when a guy is, is, is cold, that ball away looks like it's way, way, way on the outside. I yeah. mean, I've taken balls. Umpire called me out. I'm arguing with the umpire, and he has two balls on the plate. Right. But, but, but you're covering balls away, and I'm telling you, he is not missing anything, and his concentration level is above reproach. You know, something I've noticed, Pedro, we talked about this really during the last couple of games. With a guy as hot as Murphy, the back of the baseball card or the uniform means nothing. Wouldn't you be pitching David Wright a little bit differently, going after him more? We saw two back-to-back 3-1 -back counts. And it's interesting considering when you've got Murphy and Cespedes, arguably the two most dangerous bats right behind him. Well, in, in this case, and the way um, so, uh, Wright has looked so far, I will attack him like a leadoff hitter. I will just go right after him and, and, and finish him with pitches low and away. He's not catching up. He's pulling his head. His, his whole body is going away from, from, from the plate. So I would just attack him early and put him away with pitches away. But the way they got their lineup set up, th their lineup is for the pickings. You can pitch around certain guys to get to certain guys. They're not doing that. They're going after Murphy. They're throwing breaking balls, breaking balls, and he can gauge that. All you do is watch him. He's bringing that left leg forward. I see where it's breaking. Now I'm going to let it get a little deeper, and then I'm going to yank it in the right field fence. And well, he doesn't care if it's right or left-hander. Exactly. It doesn't matter. Doesn't he's matter he's right locked now. in. He sure is locked in. Granderson and Murphy have both successfully hit lefties, and you heard Joe Madden say there, well, if we didn't have Harvey on the hill, who's pitching tomorrow? Remind us, Pedro. <laughs> well, if he found it beautiful today, it's about to get ugly for him because m tomorrow he has stolen. <laughs> going against him and Thor, he hits triple digits. So, so, be careful. Know. so be careful what you ask for. Going on, he's going on short rest now. I feel like sometimes with you guys, okay. there should be that. I'm like a ringleader in a circus. You gonna take Thor over Arietta? I thought you was a, a, a no, Arietta no, man. No, I thought you was Arietta man. I am. I am. I, I am really a huge fan of both. But but I oh, you know oh. Thor is like the hey, winner. Hey, you you have Thor against a scream. Oh, the other one is a cop load of killers, too. You have to be careful. There you go. <laughs> He's a hero. Don't you know that? He's a hero. Oh. When we come back, who would be the heroes at the K in Kansas City? The comeback kids are at it again. We'll show you as we continue on TBS. <laughs> Boom, motherfucking. It's not about hugging trees. It's not about being wasteful either. You just gotta find that balance. Where taking care of yourself takes care of more than just yourself. Lease an MKZ hybrid for $2.99 a month, only at your Lincoln dealer. 
Some might call us old-fashioned for being the only distillery in America that makes its own barrels. For making our own charcoal and taste testing every batch of whiskey until it's perfect. Of course, anyone who calls us old-fashioned won't hear an argument from us. We know how to take a compliment. Jack Daniels. The way it was is the way it is. the band Europe, you love a final countdown. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to GEICO. It's what you do. Earning unlimited cash back on purchases, that's a win. But imagine earning it twice. You can with the City Double Cash Card. It lets you earn cash back twice. Once when you buy and again as you pay. It's cash back, then cash back again. And that's a cash back win-win. The City Double Cash Card, the only card that lets you earn cash back twice on every purchase. With 1% when you buy and 1% as you pay. With two ways to earn, it makes a lot of other cards seem one-sided. from New York on TBS is brought to you by the Lincoln Motor Company. If you're a Cubs fan these days, then hopefully you're a fan of Back to the Future 2. Wait a minute. Cubs won World Series. The movie predicted that the Northsiders would win it all in 2015. And if the Cubbies are the team of density, I mean destiny, then that's not lost on the President of the United States. Regardless, the Cubs are here, looking to end the longest championship drought in major American sports. Talk about the droughts, it's been a big story for all four of the teams in the LCS. You look at the pictures in the background and you see, of course, a guy that you might recognize in Daryl Strawberry. Yes. And how about George Brett and Mordecai Brown from 1908. I guess we turned to Dusty. You remember him? Yeah, and the books. <laughs> Dusty, I think the one here is calling you old goat. Yeah, that's okay, man. All right, let's take, let's take a look at what's coming up in Game 3 for the American League Championship Series on Monday. 8 o'clock Eastern time for Royals and Jays, but was it 1-1 or 2-0 going north of the border with the passports? Let's find out and go to the K for the highlights of Game 2 of the American League Championship Series, the Royals and the Blues.